How's it going guys, my name is Dom and today I want to talk about multiple source files in the Rust programming language. So I'm going to show you how to make your own source files and modules and also how to use them. Now it's obviously useful because um, having your code separated into different source files and modules makes it more readable and more maintainable. So if you can do this, definitely do it in your Rust projects. Now we're going to start by looking at the directory structure. Here we have the source directory inside the Rust project and this contains all your Rust source files. We obviously have the main.rs which is the one that gets run at the very um, the one that gets ran at the very beginning uh, along with the with the main function. Now we're going to make a new file inside this source directory and this will be one of our own custom uh, custom made modules. Now we can right click here and just press new file and we're going to call this this um, this source file something meaningful because you're going to refer to this file name in your program. So for example, I'm just going to call mine decode as an example. You call yours whatever you want. And we're going to make this decode.rs. We'll press enter here and we have a brand new um, Rust source file. Now inside here, we're, um, we're, going, to de we're, we're going to declare a function um, called print message that will print out a message to the screen. So here we can say fn print message. This will take no parameters and it will return nothing. Now we're simply just going to say uh, print line. How's it going? Um, my name is Dom. Okay. Now with this here, we're going to call this print message function from the main.rs source file. So first, we need to um, basically include this module in the Rust, sorry, in the main.rs source file. So up here, we can just uh, space this down and type out mod, mod, then a space, and then the name of your Rust source file without the rs. So we can just say decode, and then a semicolon. Okay, that line there will just include um, that source file in the program, Rust will look at this and say, okay, you know, time to find decode.rs. So it's going to find your source, um, your source file, and then it's going to include it in the program. So now you can use this within your functions or whatever. So inside main, we can type out decode, see referring to that right there, and then this right here. We can say decode, and then two columns, and then we'll say print message. So um, this line right here will access the decode module and you want to access the print message function of that module. So now we can save this and then um, give it a go. So open up the terminal here, type out cargo run and see how this goes. Now we get an error and this error is function print message is private. So by default, your functions in your modules are going to be private which means they can only be accessed by the module itself. So to give access permission to the main.rs source file, these need to be public. So putting pub right in front of your function um, declaration here, so pub, fn print message, putting that right there um, declares your function as being public. So now the main rs file can access that function and make use of it. So now we can uh, go down here and save that and we can run this once again and see how we go. And this time we get the expected output. How's it going? My name is Dot. So that is how you can use your own custom modules, your own custom source files in the Rust programming language. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.